Right. So, uh, what I have now is just like like a small environment. Like I can have some verticality here. Uh, I'm lacking some elements of focal point. And normally, what you will want to have in your environments, and what I'm thinking about this one, is every time you create an environment, you want to you want to use lines lines that guide the player to go from one objective to another. These lines are actually not real. Like in 3D, lines are usually the distinction between different surfaces. For example, this part is light and this part is shadow. And we can see a line here, which is actually a shadow. So what we do actually is create those lines by using using lining. So you can have control of your lining, but if you don't, you can try to find those lines with the surfaces. Now you can clearly see them here. Like every time you create an environment, check the forms and the shapes they form, not actually the real object. So you can see I have a line that goes like this and I have a, another one that goes like this. So if I check my map here, if I put it here or if I put this one here, I want to create some lines that guide my eye to go from one objective to another. I have this one, I have this one, I have this one, and I stop here. And I want to stop here because I want to put like a fo focal point here. For example, I want to put like a statue or I have some assets here that I can share uh, in the description. And some like alien or something like sculptures and actually you can use many things so what you want now uh, your objective as an environment artist is to guide one player from one objective to another you use this by lines and by putting a focal point so for example i already have this somehow but i have these lines here that are pointing to this direction like this so it will be very easy for me to put my focal point here so that the player always see here. And I can obviously emphasize that if I rotate this and make it more extreme, or if I make this one bigger, just like this, 